So, just heard another update for the RC controller. A couple of days back, I made another video about the latest update, which solved most of the problems. Uh, and I think the main one that came up straight away was the compass. It was all over the place. So they've done another update. Sounds like it's a big one. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go straight into the controller. Make, guys, make sure that when you go on the controller, that the internet is connected to it so you can get the uh, update. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to go in the camera view. Go into the three dots, do the update. Update, uh, check for updates. So new update, so we just check that. Now, if you, you notice what I'm doing at the moment, I'm not actually turning the drone on at the moment. I'm just going through the controller. Um, so it's, as you can see there, there's the new one, which is the V01.01.0300. And it's saying it's fixed issues. So I'm just gonna download that now. Obviously, I'm not going to let you sit through all this because it's probably going to go on for ages. Um, so, as always, guys, always make I always make a note of um, what it is, and that's what it is. It's about the compass. So, good old DJI, they got straight onto it again and to fix the compass. Right. So, seventy-one percent. Turn on the drone. Okay, so it's already been installed now. Go fly. Like, I'm gonna go flying now, but what I will do, guys, I'm just gonna go into, make sure everything's been done correctly. So I've got the RC firmware new update. So I'll just check, just in case, you never know. There could be another update. No firmware is up to date. I've got my app, uh, which is still 1.6. Point nine, which is good. Just going to go into safety, brakes to alarm, all my settings uh, all seem fine. Control, follow me. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's good. Camera, yep, yeah, that's good for me. Right, so come out of that. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to turn. Turn this off now. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go out now and do a test flight and to make sure that the compass is fine and also check, make sure nothing else has happened. So we're out on the test flight. I've got somebody else with me tonight, Steve. He's got, he's got a Mini 3 as well. And he's, he's also done the new update as well. So I'm going to check to see the compass first and then we'll just go through a couple of modes like the point of interest, master shots and we'll see how it goes. Right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to put on the screen save first. So screen save on, so recording, I'll move that over to there because it gets in the way. So we're going to check the compass thingy now. Right. Okay, so I'm obviously at the moment it's stationary, so we're going to send it off and see how it goes. Take it up to a height and then we'll just go off out. Okay. 
going up a little bit higher. So when we did the other, when we did the update the other day, that compass was just going around in circles, um, and at the moment it's pretty stationary, which is so obviously they've solved that problem. So I, I'm going to take off the compass now because I'm not I'm not into the compass thing. Uh, I'm going to keep it on the map. I quite like the map because it gives me the more of a directional. You probably can't see that, but you, thankfully you can see it on the screen. So, so anyway, what we're going to do now is um, do a bit of flying. One of the things I have noticed is this, this screen is so sensitive. You've only got to touch the side of the screen and it just goes into maybe settings or um, different modes, whatever. So just be aware of that. Just keep your hands away from the actual screen while you're flying. So see if we can bring it back in. We do a couple of, um, we do like a point of interest. Sun's, I mean, it, it, the time now is about half seven. Temperature is about 34, 35. So it's still quite hot here. So we're just gonna bring the drone in. And what I'm gonna do for I'm gonna do a point of interest on the on the car. So point of interest, speed it up, press the button. I what I'll do also I'll put on the video and we'll just see if there's a make sure there's nothing going wrong with the video as well. I don't think I don't think there's been any problems with the video itself. I mean I'm I'm only going to be doing it in 1080. And obviously while you're flying you can't change the settings anyway. How's yours going Steve, alright? Yeah, alright, yeah. You lost it then? Not yet. Because you're looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> so we just, I'm going to stop that now. What I'm going to do while it's stopped, just knock off the point of interest, little green cross there, uh, and just go into the settings. And I'm going to have to stop the video first, Damas. Right, and move that up to 60 frames, but thinking about it, it's not going to let me do any of the, them in modes then, is it? So I'm going to have to go back to 30 frames again. Right, what we do now, I'm going to go into do master shots. So I'm going to have to bring the drone in a little bit. Right. Okay. I think that's about right. So we're gonna put master shots on now. Okay. So we're gonna do it on me. And we just And what I love about the master shots it will tell you every um quick shot that it's going through. I think at the moment it's doing the zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, it's just starting to do its circle now. It's doing a medium circle. The master shots lasts about about a minute and a half. The only, the only thing I would say about when you're using the master shot, just make sure you've got no pylons or trees lying about because it obviously because you've got no avoidance working at the time. So I think now it's doing the drony. And don't forget while it's doing all this, it's actually recording. So you ain't got to worry about pr pressing the video record button. And now it's doing the circle from a, from a far distance. <laughs> so I, I think this is a, a good way of testing your drone out because you're going for all the quick shots, all in one shot you've got the pitch up and fly forward it's coming in now and now it's doing the rocket and i think that's when it actually finishes so at the moment everything's looking pretty good uh i'll get no picture screening so um 
yes looking good now I'm doing a, a camera down circle looks good with a shadow um, now it's descended which means it's obviously finished its master shots it's doing a oh no it's doing a camera down descend what I'm going to do now I'm going to do the the asteroid because I think I like the asteroid because it takes a load of photographs so that will also show if there's any problem with the photographs so I'll just let it finish doing its return so that's done so what we do now we go to quick shots and we do the asteroid okay so we'll just come off that do it on me again okay we we'll do start off it goes so hopefully it will bring up any other problems when it does its globy thing what it calls it the asteroid I, I would call it a globy thing DJI <laughs> so off it's going now. and what it's doing now if I believe it's it's got to its point now and now it will start taking photographs so checking on the screen it looks okay now I will say straight away I've got no ND filter it's just basic camera lens on there which is a UV filter which I've talked to you about before guys if you're going to get something accessory I think the neck thing is is a must it just makes it so much easier So I think it's still going through its process. No, nope, it's done it. It's come back. I obviously can't check that until I actually get home and look on the computer, which I always do anyway. I prefer to look on the computer than doing a playback on here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a, a, a bit of a, a long flight over that direction um, and we'll see how that goes as well. So we just come out of that all that. Just click on it and um, put back on the video okay everything's done so i'm just going to do a check out distance i mean i've i've never had a problem really with the distance on this just going to put up the height a bit more so we're flying out towards the sun. Now somebody said to me, don't fly towards the sun. It's not good for the camera. So you, you can see there, um, whereabouts I'm going. Just up the road there is a, is a roundabout with some more than a big name plaque on there and what I'm going to do once I get over there I'm going to put the point of interest on it I'm just getting near it now okay bringing it around a little bit and, and looking at all the things on the top there the strength and that it's all full so there's no dip on that just gonna bring it in a little bit more okay all right so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna see if I can do a point of interest on that no it's too far away let's see if I can bring it in a bit okay so we can do it there okay point of interest we'll put it on right so it's off now so it's onto that monument i'll put on the camera okay let's put it on a bit faster Oh, 
Right, so now it's saying weak signal, but I think that's mainly because I've got the antennas. I mean, looking at the the the, the strength on that, yeah, it's not very good to be honest. I just, yep, yeah, it's the RC's back up now. That's good. So I'm just flying around it now. Now, there is a bit of wind tonight, so I expect it to be not amazing, but it's looking pretty good. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's doing, a, it's doing a perfect circle around that monument thing. And don't forget, because the antennas are actually in the top here on this controller. Um, so it's always best to have it facing that way, where, where the drone is and not sort of facing that way all sat in the car. Right, so I'm going to stop that, knock off that, I'm going to stop my video. Just going to check that screen a minute, looks a bit dark to me. No, it's fine. Okay. Going to bring the drone back to me now. So we've both done the update on the RC controller, both thrown our drone separately in a sense. Steve, could you see anything wrong with it? No, I couldn't see anything wrong with it before that, but I only flown mine once before that. Yeah, because he's, he's a newbie. I'm a newbie. But um, I couldn't see anything wrong with it. So, good on DJI support. We'll yeah. catch you next time. And there's something else that needs updating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>